Hello and welcome. This is H with John teaching another Android Studio tutorial. Um, I was asked specifically how to get rid of the floating action button. And um, although I have covered that topic in one of my other tutorials, it was kind of integrated. So I'm just going to do this real quick and do the basic uh, how to do it and how to find things and get rid of them. Um, so we want to get rid of the floating action bar. So we found the code for it. This is right here is what we're trying to get rid of. So we know for sure we want to get rid of that. And this turns red too because we want to get rid of the action associated with the FAB, uh, the set on click listener. So we want to get rid of all this. So we're going to go down here, highlight it, and I'm going to do a comment, block it out. All right, no red, looks good. But I'm just going to run it and just see, and you'll see what it looks like when you're done with it because it doesn't really get rid of all the code that's associated with the FAB. So once you're done running, you still got the icon down there. So, well, how do you get rid of that? Uh, right here, I'll show you how to do that. This is just one of those things that uh, I've mentioned before, and I just wanted to reinforce with this. The FAB, right click and go to declaration. And that shows you where the declaration is. And this is the floating action button. So what we're gonna do, we're just gonna highlight that. And I'm gonna delete that in this case. Uh, and then we're gonna run it again to see what happens. And you have to go back in here and not be silly and make sure that your original statement is still <laughs> commented out or it will not work at all. So now in order to get this to work absolutely 100% perfectly, it would be a good idea to come up here and get rid of these because you're no longer using the snack bar and you're no longer, apparently no longer using that as well uh, when you get rid of this because this is snack bar, this is the action bar. So. And you can also just come in here once you've decided that this is actually what you need to get rid of. And if you no longer want to have it around, just come in here and delete it that, that way and then run and it. And there you go. This is your app without uh, the FAB in it. All right, real quick before I let you go, I wanted to show you one more thing I'm having an issue with because of the uh, automatic picking best, the end preview, which I've downloaded, my rendering no longer works. So I've been switching over to here to 23 6.0. But another thing that I used to do is I used to come over here, go to de uh, device default epic light, and that worked. It no longer works. So what I'm going to be doing now is going into my manifest theme and either picking app theme or no action bar. So I pick app theme, it does this. And if I pick no action bar, it does that. So those are the ones that I'll be using um, instead of the, the light bar. Uh, just because they work and they don't cause rendering problems. All right, this has been Aces Don teaching another Android Studio tutorial. Uh, thank you for the questions and the feedback. Uh, don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you around.